What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with another Minor League Monday. Today, we're talking about arguably the best pitching prospect in baseball, and he's only 21 years old. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. The prospect we're talking about is Taj Bradley of the Tampa Bay Rays. He's currently their number one prospect in their organization and the 20th overall prospect in baseball. In my opinion, it's low for him. I thought he was going to be at minimum top 15. I thought he'd honestly be top 10 because this dude is so special. He is arguably one of the best pitchers in all of the minor leagues. And in my opinion, he's top three. So jumping into Taj Bradley, he's 21 years old. He's 6'2", 190. No real arguments with his frame. You know, you do like to see pitchers that are just long and goofy. Sometimes that helps out a lot. Um, but those long and goofy guys do come with injuries from time to time. So 6'2", 190, very happy with that. And with a smaller frame for pitching, it doesn't affect his stuff. His stuff is so nasty. So Taj Bradley, this dude is a fifth round draft pick back in 2018. How crazy is that? He was the 150th overall pick. Absolute gem in the MLB draft for the Tampa Bay Rays. The scouts love his stuff. 65 fastball, 40 curveball, 60 cutter, 50 changeup that you saw in that video. 50 changeup my butt if his changeup is going to move like that and go 90 miles an hour. That's going to be a 55 very soon. And what makes him great is a 60 control. You almost never see that. His control is off the charts. Probably the best in the minor leagues. So let's talk numbers a little bit again he is 21 he's about to turn 22 perfect age for debuting in the mlb as a pitcher in my opinion you know you'd love to see guys debut sometimes before that but as pitchers i mean i'd say the average pitcher debut has got to be close to 24 25 years old these days just because it does take longer to develop pitching um it just does so let's jump into his numbers a little bit so he was drafted back in 2018 didn't do anything crazy in his short season nine starts five year a whatever um, comes back his second year, does a lot better, only has 11 starts at rookie ball, 3.1 ERA, um, 57 strikeouts, 51 innings. Okay, still nothing insane. And then he comes back in 2021, obviously put in work over the summer, and this is where he started breaking out. This is where we start seeing who Taj Bradley is. He played at low A and high A, did pretty much the same at both levels, just dominated over 22 starts, 1.83 ERA, 103 innings 123 strikeouts only 31 walks so absolutely love that the 10.7 strikeouts per nine only 2.7 walks per nine and we're going to get into that and this is why his control grade is so high from the scouts because he doesn't walk people so comes into 2022 last year with a lot of hype on his name honestly after that first year of just just being unhittable at 20 years old kind of where andrew painter is at right now i would say um, when Andrew Painter comes into this season where he's known to be unhittable. That's what Taj Bradley had coming into 2022, and he lived up to the expectations. Started at A, 16 starts, 1.70 ERA, over 74 innings, 88 strikeouts, only 18 walks, 2.2 walks per nine. Absolutely unheard of. And then stays consistent, 10.7 strikeouts per nine. Absolutely love that. 4.89 strikeouts to walk ratio. That's crazy. So, obviously, Taj Bradley dominating. They want to move him up to AAA. Again, this guy's only 21 years old. Gets up to AAA, 12 starts. Does struggle just a little bit. And again, AAA at 21 years old, like 3.66 ERA is not bad at all. 3.66 is a really solid ERA, just in general in the minor leagues. Um, but over 59 innings, he had 53 strikeouts. Again, strikeouts per nine dropped a little bit, down to 8.1, but his walks per nine still 2.3. So, in my opinion, still awesome at AAA, um, and I'm sure he will improve this season. I'm guessing he's going to start at AAA, and then he probably will make a debut this season. So, the one thing I did want to touch about before we jump into his sports cards is the one thing that Taj Bradley has going for him that a lot of other top prospects don't. This man plays for the Tampa Bay Rays, and anyone who follows baseball over the last probably decade at this point, they develop pitching the best in baseball. I will say it all the time. I think the Dodgers developed the best consistent hitting out of their minor league system, and the Rays developed the best pitching. So absolutely has that on his side that almost no one else does. I'd say the second closest is probably the Guardians organization. 
but the Rays still number one. Just every pitcher that comes up does well for them, it seems like. And I expect Taj Bradley to be just phenomenal as well. Um, also, he has pitched two innings in spring training this year. One strikeout, only one hit allowed, no runs. So he has done very good in spring training. He did get hit by a ball, um, but they said there's no injury. Uh, they just took him out after that just to be safe. So good to hear that. Uh, but I do expect him to start at AAA this year and then debut at some point this season. I'm not sure if he'll make the opening day roster, even though he probably could. Let's jump into his sports cards. I think you got to buy something right now of Taj Bradley. All right, so Taj Bradley, I'll just be straight up honest. I just bought this card. Usually when I make these videos, I make sure I buy something of these players if I don't already have something. And I actually didn't have anything of Taj Bradley. And I'll be honest, somehow I didn't realize that he had a Bowman Chrome card. <laughs> I just, I guess I wasn't tracking his cards. Uh, but he did have one this past year in 2022 Bowman Chrome. So super hyped out about that. Doesn't look like he has a base card though. So again, I don't know how this flew under the radar for me. So I just picked up the True Blue for $105. Uh, that's right around comps. It's been selling right right around 100 bucks. So I was like, screw it. It's fine. I reached out to the seller. Says there isn't any major flaws. So we'll see when it gets here. Anyways, so Elite Extra Edition. This is out of three with a sick patch. $75 if you want something more, a little cheaper. Um, but this is where I think you should just buy it. Just buy his base autograph. $22.50 for a top 20 prospect. That's crazy. Again, I know pitching is a little bit different. They don't always sell as good as hitters. They usually don't. Um, but those top pitchers, they do demand values when they pan out. Like, look at Clayton Kershaw. Look at Jacob deGrom. Look at Justin Verlander. These top pitchers in the MLB, they demand very high values. And I am not saying Taj Bradley can be as good as those guys. I'm not, I can't guarantee he's going to be a Hall of Famer, but there's a chance. And I think $22.50 is worth a chance. So, I would just do it again very affordable psa 10 base 117 dollars and that's why i kind of wanted to pick up the blue for 105 so i was like if the base is selling for 117 like i'm cool buying a short printed raw card for around the same price or even cheaper um 64 for the purple um again the base right around 20 25 bucks like just pick it up uh, but the worst case scenario you spent 25 dollars, and you know i guarantee every single person watching this video has spent 25 dollars a worse way um, atomic hundred bucks. Absolutely love that. Um, again, he has some heritage minor league stuff. Um, you could pick it up if you want, but I wouldn't really go for it too much. I mean, I'm sure maybe one day this card that sold for $2, maybe it'd be like a three to $4 card, but I mean, it just depends what you want out of select here. $30. Again, you're just looking at cheap autographs here. Um, this is the one that is crazy. A PSA nine red lava sold for $384. That's absolutely phenomenal like that is just a beautiful price point for such a good pitcher um, but yeah that's basically what we have here 9.5 with the 10 auto of the speckle out of 299 110 bucks so still very affordable in my opinion just buy a base autograph at a minimum if you want to spend more then spend more uh, but there is always the risk of you know a tommy john and elbow injury of some sort with pitchers so that's why you kind of want to be a little more i guess safe than maybe if it was a hitter you know you know it's a lot more common to have a season ending injury as a pitcher than it is a hitter more times than not in baseball all right everyone that's gonna do it for today's video again Taj Bradley honestly my favorite arm in the minor leagues right now I kind of in excluding Grayson Rodriguez I still think Grayson Rodriguez is probably the best arm but he did have an injury he's getting a little bit older so Taj Bradley is a 21 year old kind of slides in there right now he's my favorite arm in the minor leagues I'll just be honest I love Andrew Painter um, but I do think Taj Bradley has proven himself a little bit more. Um, and again, he's in the race system. It's just, he's going to be good. I will be shocked if he's not. Um, so again, yeah, I would pick up something cheap. But yeah, other than that, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys like this video, as always, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think of Taj Bradley. Are you buying his stuff? Are you selling his stuff? Is there any red flags that maybe I haven't seen with Taj Bradley? Because he seems awesome. Absolutely love his control. I think he's going to be one of the next big young pitchers in baseball. All right, everyone. Thank you all for watching. See ya.